Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech and Life. And today's math lesson will be on solving right triangles, specifically primary trigonometric ratios. And just for your information, this is a grade 10 math concept, uh, trigonometry, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so what are primary trig ratios? What are its uses? Primary trig ratios are the values of all the trigonometric functions based on the value of the ratio of sides in a right angle triangle. So simply put, they're just ratios that compare the side lengths of right angle triangles relative to a specific angle. And they're used to find missing sides and or angles in a right angle triangle. The three primary trig ratios are the ones highlighted in blue here. So there's sine, cosine, and tangent. And basically there's an acronym called SOKOTOA, which is which helps remember what sides each of these ratios are comparing. So sine compares the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So it's basically the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And tangent is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So you might not exactly know what I'm referring to, but basically for any given angle, as shown right here, let's say we're using this 45 degree angle, we can calculate the value of any of these primary trig ratios for any given angle in a right angle triangle, except for the right angle. So let's say we take this 45 degree angle and we wanna calculate sine 45. So what we would do is we'd find the length of the opposite side, as shown here, and we divide it by the length of the adjacent side, which is this side right here. Let's say we want to evaluate cos 45. What we would do is we would take this 45 degree angle, we'd locate the adjacent side, which is the base, and the hypotenuse right here. And we would divide the adjacent side, the length of the adjacent side, by the length of the hypotenuse. And that would be the value of cos 45. Now these sides are relative to one of the triangle's angles besides the 90 degree angle. So if you want to calculate and evaluate these primary trig ratios, you cannot use your 90 degree angle of your right triangle as your relative angle. You have to use one of these two right here. So just to reiterate, we have three primary trig ratios, sine, cosine, tangent, Sine represents the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Uh, cosine represents the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And tangent re represents the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Now here's the first example that we will go through. So let's say we have to solve for side y. Now side y would be represented by the little y right here as capital letters represent angles and lowercase letters represent the opposite side to that angle. So let's say we have capital Y right here. We have lowercase y as the side opposite to angle Y. Now we have to try to find the length of this side simply given the information that we have a 53 degree angle here, side X has four degrees and angle Y being 90 degrees, so we know that this is a right angle triangle. Now, let's go over the steps to solve this problem. Now, first we need to identify what we have, and two, what we're looking for. So, what do we have? Once again, we have angle Z, 53 degrees, and the length of X, four centimeters. And we need the length of Y right here. So, what primary trig ratio involves these two sides that we're looking for. So we have to use the angle that we've, we're given as our relative angle. And relative to this, what sides are the ones that are involved in the question? Okay, so we have the four centimeter side, which is given, the x, and we have the one we're looking for, which is y. Now relative to 53 degrees, what sides are these? Well, the four centimeter X side is the adjacent side to this angle. And Y is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So which primary trig ratio involves the adjacent and the hypotenuse? 
Well, let's look back right here. Which of these involves both adjacent and hypotenuse? We can see cosine. We can see cosine involves both. Cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So the way we set this up is we, we write cos and then our angle, 53 degrees, equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Then cos 53 is equal to four centimeters, which is the adjacent side, 253 degrees, and divided by our hypotenuse, which is y. So four centimeters divided by y. And now we can rearrange this by switching the spots of cos 53 and y, which becomes y equals four divided by cos 53. And that simply evaluates to y equals 6.6 .6 centimeters. So that means side y, this side right here is 6.6 .6 centimeters. Now all we're doing here is simply solving an equation. So we have cos 53 equals four centimeters over y. And basically we just have to solve for y. So it's just as solving any other equation would be. Okay, here is a second example as practice. So the question says to solve for angle x in the following triangle. Now, let's see what we have in the triangle, which is our first step. We have to identify what we have and what we're looking for. So what dimensions or angle measures are given on this triangle? We can see there's the 41 meters, which is basically represented by lowercase z. And we have the length of side x as well, because it's the opposite from angle x. So side x is 23 meters and side z is 41 meters. And that's the only information we're given, but we know it's a right triangle. So we can use our primary trig ratios to solve for angle X, which is what we need. So just to reiterate, we have side Z and X, 41 meters, 23 meters, and we need angle X as asked in the question. Now, the second part is to use the information we have to find which trig ratio to use so we can solve for the missing variable. So let's look at the angle being referenced in this question. Out of these three that we have and need, what is the angle? Well, we know the angle is the unknown, the X right here, right? And now we have to see in relation to the angle, where are the sides that we actually have? So in relation to this angle right here, where is 23 and 41? Are they opposite, adjacent, or the hypotenuse? Well, we see that 23 meters is opposite of angle X. So this side is the opposite. And then from angle X, 41 meters is adjacent because this is the hypotenuse. So this one would be the adjacent, meaning the two sides that we have are opposite and adjacent to X. So what does this mean? Now we can figure out which trig ratio to use. If we go back to our SOHCAHTOA acronym, we can see that the trig ratio that involves both opposite and adjacent is tan or tangent. So we're going to use tan in this case. So just as I just said, in accordance to the unknown angle X, the 41 meter side is adjacent and the 23 meter side is opposite. So we use tan because it involves both of those sides. And now we can actually solve this. So as we see here in step one, 10 of X is equal to opposite over adjacent. Then we can just replace the opposite and adjacent with their actual values. So the opposite side is the 23 and the adjacent side is 41. So 10 X equals 23 over 41. And now this is something new that we did not do in the last example, nor did we discuss at all in this video. Now let's backtrack a little bit. When we're trying to solve an equation, what are we actually trying to do? Well, what we're doing is we're trying to basically undo every operation so we can isolate the variable that we're looking for. Now, how do you think we isolate addition from something? Let's say if I had x plus 5 equals 6. Obviously, we would take the plus 5 and we turn it into minus 5 on the other side. So tan negative one is the same thing. 
This is what we call tan inverse. So the inverse of these ratios are just the opposite operation that we have to use when we move it to the other side. So we had tan x over here, and now we have to actually move this tan x to the other side so we can isolate our variable. So we have tan x here, and when we move it to the other side, it becomes tan inverse, which does the opposite function of what, what it used to do regularly. And now this just gets multiplied by whatever was on the side originally, 23 over 41. And we just plug this whole thing into our calculator. We get 29.29, .29, which rounds to 29.3 degrees. So now we can conclude that angle X is 29.3 degrees. And that's it. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and feel free to leave any comments or questions you have down below. And I'll see you next time.